This is Access 2016, Module 5, Part 11. In this section, we're going to be looking at the top value query. With this particular query, you must sort in descending order before the records are selected, which means that the sort has to happen in design view. Then we're going to use the return box in the ribbon. So let's go ahead and take a look at our access database. We are working in the care center database. Now the first thing I did was I made a copy of large invoice amounts, which is the query that the book has us using to create this top value query. I called it just simply query invoice amounts because I wanted to go ahead and make some changes to it to make sure you understood what we were doing. When I went in, I simply removed going into design view. I removed the sort that had previously been here and the query or the criteria. So now when I run the query, all of the invoices are showing. I would prefer to start with that so that we can look at a few different examples of how we can use the top value query. So we're going to make some copies of this. I'm going to do a right click and copy. And then I'm going to find a blank spot and I'm going to right click and paste. And we're going to call this query invoice amounts. We'll call it top 25. I'm going to make a right again a copy of that. And we're going to call this one top 25%. And we're going to do two more. So again, I'm just copying the same query multiple times. We're going to call this one query top 10. And then finally, one last time, and we will call this one query top 10%. So what we're going to do to set up a, a top value query, we're going to start out with our one that says top 25. So I'm going to open that query and I'm going to switch into design view. What we want to happen now is instead of all of the invoices, I want the 25 highest ones. So the first thing we have to do is desort, or excuse me, sort in descending order. That will put the top invoices or put the highest invoices at the top. So if you look, now we have the highest invoices at the top. The next thing I want to do in the design root view after I sort is to come up to this root return box and I'm going to click on 25. Now I'm going to click run and you'll notice that it actually selected 75 instead of 25. The reason for that is because all of these are $75, so they tie. So after the first 10, the rest are 75. So they couldn't eliminate any because there were a tie. So we're going to save that and close it.
We can also select based on a percentage instead of a quantity of records. So again, I'm going to go into design view. I always have to make sure I sort in descending order. Then I'm going to come up here to my return box and select 25%. Now when I click run, again it does pick the same 75 records, but I think that's because we have so many ties. So we're going to save that and change it. Okay, now let's go into our top 10 records. So again, I go into design view. I must sort it in design view. Then I'm going to come up here and I only want 10. So 10 is not one of the preset options, so you can type it in. Now when you start typing it in, you'll notice it defaults to the 100. So if you just hit the delete key to get rid of that last zero and hit enter, now it will return, return excuse me, the top 10 records. So I'm going to go ahead and save that one. And we're going to do the top 10%. So again, if you want to choose a percent instead of a quantity, you can also type those in. Again, we have to sort in descending order. I'm going to come up here and instead of typing in the quantity of 10, I'm going to type in 10%. You must type the percent sign if you're using one of the non-preset values. And then go ahead and click Run. And now it came up with the top 10% of our invoices. And because we have this, so many of them with the same amount, it does select quite a few. Go ahead and save that. So again, when we go into our design view, the two things you have to do for a top value query is to sort in descending order and then to specify whether you are returning a quantity or a percentage. You can either choose a preset or you can type in your own value. And that ends our top value query.